Mary Diamond, and the Signal Channel. Don't forget, follow along on YouTube. Subscribe, like, and share. Hit the share alert button so you know what's going on all the time. Follow us on Instagram and please like and follow us on Facebook. You're going to get all sorts of cool content and bonus videos. Cheers, guys. Content. Hey guys, and welcome. How is everybody? How's everybody doing? Welcome to our virtual happy hour. We are back in the studio and so happy to be here. Oh my gosh, feels like forever. So let me know, what are you drinking? What's going on? It's a beautiful Monday here in South Florida and hopefully where you are as well. So, you know, we were out on the road. It was over 40 something days, all 5,000 miles, X millions of dollars of fuel to tour or the, in the tour bus to fuel us. And it was crazy. And I just want to touch real quick and thank everybody that we met out on the road. You guys really made us feel at home. And thank you for all the invites and all the places we went to and all the restaurants, bars, casinos. We didn't win anything, if you're wondering, but we had a really good time and some excellent food. So now it's time to get back in shape and get back at it so we can make you some great things and show you what all sorts of fun stuff I found out in the United States. It was awesome. So let's bring Miss Judy Gannon in and see what's happening with her. Hi, Judy. Hi. Hi. So we are back. We are back. We are not getting squirted with squirt guns. It's kind of great. <laughs> We, we have no technical problems. Can you believe it? Yep, no technical issues. We can hear each other. <laughs> we can hear each other, and I, I'm pretty sure everybody can hear us. So let us know what you're drinking, if you can hear us, and how it's going. And I wanted to add, if there's any questions about any of the places we went to or any of the drinks we made or saw or consumed, or if you just are looking for a recipe, hit us up. Let us know. We can help you out. I mean, that's what we're here for. True. So, okay, I wanted to start with one thing, but I'm going to put that on pause because I just heard on the news five minutes ago that they are now going to, they're going to power cars with whiskey. What? <laughs> what is the point of this? <laughs> I just heard it on the news. It's called biobutanol. Okay. So I have a diagram here. It's probably a little blurry, but this is how they're going to power it. And I'll post it after the show so you guys can get into it a little bit more. But how they start with some whiskey or bourbon, and they're going to go through this whole process. And a car actually drove in Scotland today on whiskey. What? I, I wonder if you get thirsty, if you could siphon some out and... <laughs> I don't know. Next thing you know, instead of people stealing your gas, they're going to be stealing your whiskey out of your car. So you better be careful where you park it in Scotland. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, so, okay. When I was at the nightclub and bar convention, they had three gigantic rows of tea. Like, you know, high tea, like tea bags and stuff, you know? Okay. Kind of weird. I didn't really get it. And I started reading a lot about green tea in cocktails. So I started thinking about it. I drink green tea at least one cup every morning. And I know it's so good for you, you know? Very good for you. Got all that stuff, the antioxidants, the vitamin C. It's supposed to help fight cancer. Get this one. It reduces bad breath. Wow. So this works perfectly if you're out at a bar. So it can reduce your bad breath. It helps with your brain function and the one thing we all want, weight loss. There you go. So I came up with a drink, actually two drinks to make today, but I'm going to get into that in just a second. But it's crazy. Green tea cocktails. And if you think about Green it, Green tea trying, cocktails. Yeah, everyone's trying to be healthy. So why not try to be healthy with your cocktails? Why not? Everybody I, tries those green tea shots. <laughs> they do. And there's no green tea in it. I, and I don't drink them. Does it taste like green tea? 
Oh, I don't really drink those either. <laughs> you guys are wondering, a green tea shot is Crown Royal, peach schnapps, and sweet and sour mix. That's it. And somehow, There's no green tea in it. And it tastes like green tea. Just three little ingredients. Yep. So we're going to get to that. But also, um, some of our nice friends over at Budweiser sent us another seltzer. Woohoo! If I would have seen you this weekend, I would have loaded you up because I know how upset you are that you're not going to be able to try these. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. <laughs> but get this. So we're speaking of health. These are Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer, okay? Okay. This is their essential collection, and this is made with coconut water. Ooh. So I know that, you know, you can drink coconut water in the morning to try to help your hangover if you have it and stuff. I guess it works. I don't know. It's very good for hydration. So we have here blueberry watermelon. <laughs> I just can't with these things anymore. Strawberry guava. We have kiwi lime. And berry hibiscus. Ooh. So <clears throat> we are lucky enough to be able to try these. I, I, I got to have a sip of what I'm drinking, which is a little Pilsner today. There you go. So, okay, real quick, while I'm opening these up, speaking of beer, do you remember Natty Light? Yes, I do. I, it's, I guess it's originally called Natural Light or something like that. Yes. They are bringing back their throwback bottles and cans or packaging from 1977 when they started. Oh, my goodness. Got, got a contest. So... <laughs> Okay, this is all about the mullet. So the mullet is the most searched haircut on the internet. This past year, there was 15.5 million searches for the mullet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so Natty Ice wants you to go get a mullet and they're gonna pay for it. <laughs> they're gonna pay for it and give you one case of their throwback packaging natty light beers a month for as long as you keep the haircut wow <laughs> so. what was what was the uh phrase about the mullet um business in the front party in the back <laughs> yeah. all business in the front and party in the back oh my goodness i can't you know so you guys if you want a mullet just go to nattylight.com and all your information is there. So you can go get a mullet and get it paid for. And you know, I was at my stylist a couple months ago and she told me that she had been doing a ton of mullets. I thought she was nuts. Who knew? Who knew? So, Are perms coming back too? I don't know. Because <laughs> it reminds me of that horse I had near me in Talashik, Louisiana, that looked like it had a perm. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got Miss Amanda Hart. A mullet came back this year. See? She knows. She's hip. <laughs> She's hip. So, okay, real quick. Um, berry hibiscus. And just so you know, ooh, Jesus, how are you? Thank you for watching. Okay, so they're all clear, so we don't have to pour them in a glass. There, there's no color to these. I already checked that out. Berry hibiscus. Eh. Tastes, like eh. Tastes like everything else, you know. Amanda, be honest. While, while Mary Dawn's taste testing, would you date a guy with a bullet? That's what we want to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that one wasn't good. <laughs> Kiwi lime is not for me. Okay. The guava strawberry. We always like strawberry. Yeah, that's true. It's okay. It's The aftertaste is not half as bad as all the other ones. Oh, yeah? You don't get that, like, sweet and low no. saccharin? Okay. A teeny bit, but not as much. Oh, blueberry watermelon. 
is god awful. Oh. Amanda Just says, so you guys know, Amanda answered. She said, probably not. <laughs> no, Molly. Sorry. So if you want beer over a date, then I would get them all. There you go. <laughs> so, okay. One of my good friends over at Budweiser, Justin, I know he's watching. I told him I couldn't believe I was going to try these. But they're made with the coconut water, and they're not that bad. Nice. And they don't have the bad aftertaste. That's good. Not that bad. So, okay, you want something out on the water, it's kind of good for you on the beach, on the boat, on the park. You can go with your water or your Mick Ultra coconut water seltzers. There you go. All right. You can Judy, stay hydrated out. while you're catching a buzz. You're missing out, Judy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> Here's something for us, and I wish we had samples of this. Vizzy which is, you, you see it all over Facebook and all over. Busy just released a new hard seltzer mimosa. Ooh. Now this is something. This has got the antioxidants and the vitamin C. Only 100 calories, 5%. This is something I'd like to try. And there's four different flavors, but I haven't been able to get my paws on them yet, so I don't know. That's something we might be able to stand behind. Yeah, busy.com, send us some samples, please. But uh, where were we? So much going on. Cinco de Mayo is coming up next week. It is. And then the Kentucky Derby, like three days later. Oh, my goodness. So you need to get a bunch of hats next week. Got to have yep. a sombrero and a derby hat. Got to get your mm. tequila and your Whiskey's ready, but don't put it in your car gas tank just yet. No, no, don't do that. <laughs> so speaking of tequilas, this is a brand new one. And this one is a woman-owned company, which we love here at MD's Jimmel Channel. It's true. 21 Seeds Cucumber Jalapeno Blanco Tequila. Ooh. And they've got three different flavors, and they're right up there. Um... There's a Valencia orange, a grapefruit hibiscus, and obviously this one, which is the cucumber jalapeno. And I, I feel like I would like that grapefruit hibiscus one. But this whole hibiscus, it's everywhere. What's up with hibiscus? What is it? Isn't it a flower? <laughs> I guess. I mean, like, where? when did they get on the scene of every seltzer and every tequila and every vodka and kettle one hibiscus grapefruit? And it's just... Driving me crazy. I think that's I a word to get rid of. <laughs> but this smells amazing. It smells like a fresh cut garden or lawn. Ooh. And I thought, because, you know, we're talking about green tea. And let's get into this. So these simple little packets, they're so good for you. So I brewed up some green tea this afternoon. And kind of looks like, you know, <laughs> anyways, we won't say what it looks like. And I cut some fresh, <laughs> some fresh herbs from my garden. And, you know, there's a drink called a gimlet cocktail. Now, a gimlet, if you remember, it's lime and, um, and gin, you know? Okay. But so this, what they want you to do is do 50% vodka and 50% green tea. So it's kind of good for you. And I thought we should try it. We should. However, someone drank all the Tito's, the unofficial sponsor of MD's Jimmel Channel. Someone drank all the Tito's. Here's oh my gosh. We I gone. wonder who. <laughs> while we were gone, it was all consumed. Hmm. Could have been, I don't know, who knows. So it was the cat. <laughs> so I thought, let's try this out. I mean, this has got to be interesting. And I have not tried this yet. So, you know, if, if I spit it out, sorry. But you guys, if you're watching, say hi. And let us know what you're drinking because we can't tell who's watching until you say something. You have to say hi to us. Say hi. Okay. So, we're just going to do, we're going to do like an ounce and a half of this wonderful women owned. Tequila, okay? 21 seeds, cucumber, jalapeno, and green tea. Now, 
think about it. You're out by your pool or you're out in the park or on the boat. It's so simple. And it's kind of healthy. And I thought. Half and half. I thought, exactly. And I thought a little mint, a little mint in there, you know. And maybe just to totally go crazy, a little basil, fresh from the garden. And this right here, this is called a fade straw. Hmm. These are ocean friendly straws. Oh, very nice. They're made in this beautiful state of Florida, up north, and they come in straws, they come in stir sticks, and they are biodegradable. And they're not like the bamboo or the paper. They don't, I don't even think that they break. No, look, they don't even break. Nice. Really nice. So you could even stick a piece of lime and you have a beautiful, beautiful, kind of healthy cocktail. So let's try this out. And I'm really not a huge tequila person. And guys, she psyched me out earlier and told me that I needed vodka and green tea. So I'm going to go with the vodka and green tea. I oh, have the Tito's. You got some. Okay. So now is this your first try? This is my first try. Okay. Now, did you cool your green tea down or is it hot? Yes. No, it's cooled. Okay. So you got vodka and green tea. Oh, I could drink that. Yeah? Yeah. I bet it would be good warm also. Oh, that would be. And this is good too. I mean, it's really super refreshing. Hmm. It doesn't even taste like tequila. It's that potent green tea that over flavors it all. Yeah, I mean, I really think that I would like the green tea and vodka. This is really good. It's just, you know. So I was just corrected. These are made of bamboo. I'm sorry. Oh. But the reason I thought it wasn't was because I was at a place recently and they gave me a bamboo straw that was the color of like bamboo. Yeah. And it tasted funny and it cracked. If I was to bend it like that, it, it cracked off on the end. Well, speaking of crazy straws, you know, when we were kids, we would all bite the ends off of the Twizzlers and use them in our sodas for a straw. Sure. Now they're actually making Twizzler straws. Huh. I'm like, why, why you just bite the end off? So it's like, a, it's a Twizzler, but thinner, and you can use it as a straw and then eat it. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> I think I saw nerd rope straws. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I like nerds, remember the nerds? Yes. Oh my God, so good. This is, this is wonderful. Really good, really nice. Nice refreshing in the daytime drink. It is. And speaking of drinks, so our friends over at Budweiser did not send us this sample, but yet again, another seltzer. This is the Bud Light Cocktail Hour line. Ooh. Now, tropical punch, strawberry, uh, lime. I mean, I don't know when it ends. I know. Or I thought, I feel like, like a year ago we were saying, the seltzer craze is going away. Now it's just coming back. <laughs> it's back. It just keeps coming. Keeps coming harder and harder. But Oh, my goodness. What are you going to do? So, okay. We were talking about supply chains. And the only negative thing I got to say is, you know, because, like, China, Shanghai is shut down. Okay. So they've got 100% COVID lockdown. And they're being policed by robot dogs and drones oh my gosh so while that's happening this is happening at their ports and this picture is disgusting those are all of our goods that can't leave because there's oh. nobody, nobody can work the ports so you know if you're wondering why your favorite restaurant ran out of tater tots that's why or that's why or whatever they're getting. I mean, I'm told that even like pretzels, like the packaging for pretzels, they're having a, a demand shortage on that. Wow. Because I guess that's where their packaging comes from. So I don't know. I'm hoping that you know, this doesn't spread and, and go back and then we're going to be revisiting the same thing again. I don't think so. Do you? 
I hope not. And when I say I hope not, please don't rush out and buy all the toilet paper again. Okay, guys? <laughs> <laughs> but just think if it ever does happen and you run out of mixtures, you could just use your tea bags. You're good to go. <laughs> hey, we've, we've taught you how to make coffee drinks, hot tea drinks, hot chocolate drinks. You'll be good. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> so our guy, Peyton Manning, you know, he's a cutie. He has, yep. he's come up with something kind of new. Have you heard of Tennessee whiskey? No. Okay. So Tennessee is Kentucky and Tennessee mixed. And they've got this giant like rivalry, which I never knew about over their bourbons. And oh. he has made, I guess it takes part of, Kentucky and part of the Tennessee whiskeys puts them together and he has a new whiskey and it is named after a golf course in Tennessee. It's called Sweetener's Cove. And get this, it is 110 proof. Woo! Here's a picture of it and it's out there you guys, but it costs you 60 bucks for one bottle. Which is, you know, a decent price for a good bottle of bourbon. So, I mean, if you're a Peyton Manning fan, you might want to go out and get one. It might be worth something someday. Yeah. I don't know. But there's also um, <sighs> Seagram's. Do you remember Seagram's? Like just plain old Seagram's vodka? I totally thought you were going to say Seagram's wine coolers. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I like wine coolers. I do too. <laughs> I think I have a cooler in my garage, a little old 1970s cooler that I ripped off out of my dad's car one time. And it was like Seagram's gin or something, but Seagram's started making vodka a long time ago. Okay. And they got two brand new ones coming out. They're hopping on the flavor train. They've got strawberry lemonade and mango pineapple vodka. Oh, okay. I'm thinking both of those would be great with green tea. I'm thinking the same thing. Strawberry lemonade, green tea. It would almost be like a spiked Arnold Palmer, right? Yeah, that's that's exactly what it sounds like to me. I think that would be my summer drink. Sounds uh, pretty good. I don't know. So, you guys, has anybody got any questions? No? One's, no? I don't know if everybody's out enjoying the sunshine or what today. Probably. It's been a gorgeous day today. It has. And I think it's going to stay nice. And it's here. And it's all over. It was nice up in New York City. I noticed it on the Kelly and Ryan show. It was nice. So that's really what we've got today. You know, I've got so many things. I just, I got to keep getting, I just keep finding stuff to show you. But, ooh, I'm getting the jalapeno now and it's starting to burn. That little aftertaste. Yeah, but it's getting rid of that seltzer stuff. There, there you go. <laughs> but anyway, so get your hats ready for next week because we're going to have Cinco de Mayo and Kentucky Derby. Got some really fun stuff. You can even make a mint julep with green tea. I read about that today. Ooh, and I bet that tequila that you used for the green tea would make a really good margarita, too. Oh my God. Imagine if you rimmed it with like a kind of like a salt jalapeno cucumber rim. Ooh, mm. really good for Cinco de Mayo. Yes, it is. It's one of my favorite holidays. I can't wait. But that's all we got for today. Judy, it was great to see you back here. Here. Oh my gosh. And you guys, thanks for joining in and let me know questions, recipes, anything you need. Just let me know. I'll answer it to the best of my ability. And let's see, May 1st is like in four days, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Is it really? Wait a second. No. Today's, Today's the, tw the 25th. So a week? Yeah. Six so days. Next week. Yeah. And do you remember May Day? Is May 1st is May Day? Yeah, I do kind of know a little bit about May Day, like knocking on doors and leaving like baskets of flowers or something, right? 
Yeah, I remember it back in high school, they would sell flowers so you could buy a flower for a special someone for the next day. Yeah. And if someone had a flower, they were all so happy. And then the poor people that didn't get a flower were like, so sad. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Anyways, if you got a mullet, don't send me a flower. <laughs> <laughs> me neither. <laughs> So we're signing off, you guys. Have a wonderful week. Judy, so good to see you again. And cheers, everybody. Cheers, everyone.